Question number 12. Paul Foster Bell. Uh, thank you, sir. My question is to the Minister for Seniors and asks, how has World Elder Abuse Awareness Day drawn attention to the problem of elder abuse and social isolation in New Zealand? Mr Speaker. Ah, the Honourable Maggie Barry. Yesterday's World Elder Abuse Awareness Day and the week that it commemorates is an opportunity for all New Zealanders to show that all older people need to be respected and valued. There are more than 2,000 reported cases of elder abuse and neglect a year. The majority of them... Order, order. I'm afraid a fair amount of conversation has broken out, which makes it difficult for the... Um, well, and the member might expect the same respect one day himself. Honourable Maggie Barry. Shall I repeat the uh, answer? I, the member can. The minister can. Thank you. Order. World I've given, Elder order. Oh. I've given permission for the minister to start the answer again. I don't want interjection to start from a particular court I'm looking at. Honourable Thank Maggie you, Mr Barry. Speaker. It is important to respect our elders, and that was one of the points of World Elder Abuse Day and the week that follows it. Uh, social isolation and loneliness among our seniors is particularly concerning as it increases people's vulnerability to elder abuse. There are more than 2,000 cases reported in New Zealand each year, and that is about neglect as well. The majority of them are caused by family members and can take the form of emotional and financial abuse as well as physical. That's why, as the Minister for Seniors, I've championed initiatives like Community Connects, which is a, a, a particular program which is leading towards age-friendly communities, of which there are three being piloted in New Zealand. Order. Supplementary question, Paul Foster. Thank you, sir. Supplementary to the Minister, what new initiatives has she announced regarding positive role models for seniors? Order. The Honourable Maggie Barry. Unlike some members of this House, there are many seniors who are worthy of respect and are super seniors in their form. So I announced three new champions yesterday, Dame Malvina Major, the Honourable Margaret Austin and the actor Peter Hayden. They joined the Champions programme launched a few months ago with Precious McKenzie, Dame Kate Harcourt and Lance Girling Butcher. These are inspirational role models who provide a voice for seniors about the issues that matter to seniors. Their adv advocacy insight and enthusiasm uh, is vital to making sure seniors' voices are heard. A supplementary. Order. 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 This is a point of order. This yes, sir. Order. I seek to table the recent Trans-Tasman report about how weak order. this minister order. is. Order. The member will resume his seat immediately. That's not a point of order. Paul Foster Bell, supplementary question. Thank you, sir. Further supplementary to the Minister, what reports has she seen on attitudes towards older people? The Honourable Maggie Barry. A new survey which was commissioned by the Office of Seniors, which I launched yesterday, Attitudes Towards Ageing, reveals that a large number of New Zealanders respect and value older people. But there are problems that remain in tackling social isolation, which is one of the key factors in elder abuse. Uh, positive attitudes towards older people, despite the fact there are some very badly behaved older people, not too far from where I'm standing, um, are vital for the well-being and self-esteem of seniors. And the the survey showed, on a more serious note, Order. that 10% of people aged over 50 felt excluded and isolated because of their age. Most seniors deserve a lot of respect, and they have earned it, and they've made this great country the country it is today. And I respect them, if others do not in this chamber. Order. That concludes questions for oral answer. I call